and then Leo is probably the best Mega Man in SoCal. Oh, I, I don't know that one. Alright. So Palutena and Falco. This is an interesting matchup, I think. I wonder, I, I wonder, because like, Falco having a really good jump means that up air, oh, oh, we're not going Incineroar, we're not going Incineroar, we're not going to see the Incineroar, I was calling it, you know, and we might, oh, I was excited to see the Incineroar, yeah, yeah, that would have been, yeah, you know, would have been Three, cat and mouse. Two. But yeah, up air is going to be really hard to, to chase with. I mean, he's still going to do it, of course. Falcon has a great up air, but uh, yeah, this this could be even. I mean, it's just like edge guarding is a little harder for Falco here because of the, the teleport recovery. But I mean, it's still doable. It's still definitely doable. It is. I, I think I expect to see more ledge trapping here from uh, from Nintendo. Finally, get to see full potential Palutena. I mean, he's got to, or else he's out of 30. Activating his almonds, he's gonna get it, dude. I have a feeling it's gonna be triple nair. Triple nair? I mean, it's Palutena, so I mean, it's likely. Okay, it's the first up air. Okay, getting stuffed by a down air. Good dash attack. I, I really like uh, when people use dash attack to just, like, catch um, landing. It, it seems really effective in this game. Nice, nice. Oh my god, up smash. Barely. It was untouched in the pad, or was it? I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks like touched. enough. Falco wasn't touched. Oh. There we go. Hands off. Alright, there we go. Does that up tilt? There we go. It, 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 Building it, up. Everyone does some type of option after the second up tilt. It's just a matter of reading which one it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, a little bit of a misinput there. Okay, okay, I like the jump. Scoop Dog being very patient. I, I, I like that about his playstyle. Like he, he's a very good mix of both. Okay, there's that side B. Okay, okay. I, I wonder if he meant to snap the ledge. <laughs> that backer seemed a little telegraphed. He's, like the way that he moved, he's like, I'm a back here, you. Okay. Nicely spaced on that forward smash, though. I, I like that shield pressure. He was able to do it pretty safely. Yeah, that shield, man. That back air from Palutena. Uh, now I'm going forward air. Looks, it looks pretty consistent. He's getting consistent combos and racking up damage. Oh, that jab. Oh. Oh. Hold on, <laughs> and then he's the like, not nah, son, getting kicked in the face. That was wonderful. <laughs> okay, all right. Jintek waiting for the option. Uh, he, he went for something different. He went for the, for the Nair that time. Usually he'll like wait and see what happens, uh, but he went just for a Nair, just in case. That jab, man, is putting in the work. Gotta be, gotta be wary. Uh, Falco's recovery, it's its not the worst, especially when you consider his jump. But if you don't have that jump, dude, it suck for you. Okay, shielding it. And like, uh, Jintek didn't get too crazy, and he just jumped back and just waited for Scoop Dog's next option. He's down there. They're just beautiful. Yeah, they are. Nice side B. Yeah, sometimes you just got a YOLO side B, and it works out. Nice spacing, though. I really enjoy that. He was able to get the tip of uh, the forward air. He's to prepare. Oh, man. Imagine yeah. if you could cross up, though. I see a lot of the, the down throw uh, forward airs, and I'm wondering if back air uh, jump is consistent for uh, Palatine. Okay, nice. Oh, back air. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, it looks like, uh, it, it looks like lasers are definitely a problem, and it looks like Falco can chase Palutena fairly well. Uh, at least, like, a little better than Palutena can chase Falco. Because, like, uh, Palutena has a bit more of that zoning capability. Yeah. You know? Um, 
But I mean, she still has really good neutral. Like she still has like the shield. That shield really makes it a large part of her neutral. I think uh, being able to have that vulnerability and just the threat of you know having those vulnerable attacks. He's always hanging over the threat of Incineroar. I, I wonder. I, I, I wonder when uh, Gentech is gonna, you know, grow some and play Incineroar and Bracket. Uh, you never know. Okay, yeah, if he, you win it, you actually so Incineroar. Gentech says if he wins this one, he'll go Incineroar, but I, I call falsehood. I don't believe it. All right. Gentech's being a little different with this up tilt. I mean, it's just like Falco's another like. Like you said before, he has great frame traps, not just on top of the good juggling that he already has, but it's just like, you can be very free-flowing with a character like Falco. Oh, that down tilt though, catch that. Nice there. Man, it works so well, dude. It works so well. Everything about Apollo 10 as a kid just works so well with himself. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, uh, down throw just seems to be a bread and butter. I, I actually don't think I've ever seen a Palutena do up throw. Uh, actually, no, I think it kills. I've seen it once. I, I, think, I think up throw kills. I could be wrong. Uh, but hey, no back, back throw kill. Back throw yeah. kill for sure. Yeah, she does a little... Uh, it's little so flashy. Hit. I love it. Yeah, she... <laughs> just the leg up kills you. Oh, <laughs> speaking of a leg up. Okay, no, we're making it back. Okay, it should be up tilt. To the back air. Nice, we done. Easily caught up. Alright, I like that, uh, getting back onto the platform with the air dodge. Or the, I think he was trying to wave land, but he still was able to make it back fairly safely. Nice, forward air into dash attack. Drag there, oh, the damage. drag down. Get it? Wow, the drag down into the, <laughs> the half up smash. Oh, uh, poor Falco. Done. Yeah, I got that up tilt into damage. It's pretty true at that percent. Down tilt. Then, man, that down tilt is so scary to get hit by because it's like straight up and it can kill you and it just uh, makes that slice sound. Good cross up at the back air as well. I mean, it kind of gave. Uh, uh, no, 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 he was pushing pretty much. There you go with the up air. Oh. Oh man. And that down air, it's just like. You, I, I myself forget sometimes just how long that down air lasts. You know, it's like, you, you do get hit by that sour spot more often than that. <laughs> What's Jintek <Shintek> doing? <laughs> He's being ambiguous. Trying to mix it up? Yeah. Okay, this is a punish- Oh, you know, the roll might have been- Yeah, yeah. He might not have meant to do that, actually. Just a quick turnaround into a jab would have done the trick. Poor Nair. We're gonna see Falco rack up damage right here. Yeah, we are. That's what he does. I like that ability though to use that forward air to just get him off of him. He really needs that right now. Oh, that, yeah. That feel a lot like wool. Yeah, that cross up was really nasty. Yeah. If you can master that, you're going to have a really good neutral. Okay, back there potentially. Yep, almost kill. Almost kill. Oh man, another grab. Uh, I don't know, uh, he might have stealed it, but still. Forward smash, we're gonna see. Good recovery, I can tell. Jintek uh, smells the blood in the water. Nice! That was untackable even if he did. Yeah, my god. Had to grab from ledge. Yeah, man, that was crazy. Okay, there we go. There's that jab. And that jab, we've seen the jab. Uh, Gimp pretty well. It takes that one. There. Very right. caught up in damage. Okay, we tech it. Oh, I think Scoop Dog was trying to uh, read a roll in. Yeah. Nice back air. Alright. Oh, and that quick air to catch the landing with Gintech. Yeah, that was really, really precise. Back air. Okay, now it's uh, now it's totally in Scoop Dog's favor. Now the tables have turned. There we go. Oi. Are we gonna okay. see Incineroar yes, now? Yes. Alright. Alright, now. Are we really gonna see an Incineroar? Dude, he's gonna throw him in the lion's den. Are we really gonna, he's gonna see? He's gonna pull out the Incineroar, throw are him in really, the lion's den. Are we, are we really gonna see Incineroar? Yeah. Dude, I, I can already feel it, you know? He says he's gonna do it's it. He's gonna be Goliath. He's gonna do it. He's gonna pick, he's the, do he's it. Gonna pick the, the kitty. Alright, okay. He's being thrown into the lion's den, my guy. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, um, Incineroar got a buff, didn't he? Yeah, he got a buff. 
Cinderella got a buff, but I don't know where or like how. If you want, I'll just pull up patch. Yeah, down. please do. Yeah. So his jabs got buffed. Okay, a lot of jabs got buffed in this game, like um, or in this patch. Uh, Wolf got a buff. Uh, Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar got a, a a jab buff. Not too bad. Three, two, one, go! All right, we're going. Okay, see, okay, I I thought Scoop Dog had a link. I was wondering where that was. Oh my God. It's interesting the link and Incineroar. Yeah. All right. This is interesting. I wonder if uh, if Jintek like loses and goes back to Falco. I wonder if Scoop will go back to him. like. I wonder if he'll stay as Link. I hope he stays as Link. Let well, me be Link. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude! Just think about it. As Incineroar, it's impossible to lose. How so? Because you're just like this, you know, huge wrestling cat. Well, I mean, I, I think if you just play Incineroar, you're already like a winner at life. So. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I guess it's, it's true. And guess... you get to make all these wonderful cat puns. That's true. That I've subjectively been saying this entire time. <laughs> He's the perfect character. Okay, I'm done. All right, perfect so we, we got we got a pretty even game right now. Hey. It's really a feline. Oh my. I'm not feline that one. I'm not either. <laughs> oh, and let me tell you, Incineroar's Nair is actually incredibly dumb. It, it, you can land pretty well. I, I have a sword with my character, and he's able to still sometimes beat me because he just lands so quickly. Okay, we got the revenge. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I like the attempts. Stuff the Incineroar as best as he can. Uh, that wasn't as safe as it. Yeah, still making it though. Still being able to get a grab. And the back air is taking that one out for sure. Pull out your secret main. That, that's when the game gets fun. And, and Scoop Dog is getting really close. Um, it, it, it's kind of interesting. It's like you can either get right in Incineroar's face to avoid the threat of a side B. And it's interesting that Scoop Dog is picking that alternative to get in. Uh, in his face because he's playing a zoning character. But I mean, having a sword, it's not too bad of a and Nair too. Uh, Link has a really interesting, um, interesting mechanic with Nair, where it's like his ball speed gets way uh, increased when he's in Nair. So, uh, I, I think that's how it works. He just he goes so much quicker. He has a really, really good ball speed when he starts Nair. Yeah. Oh man, forward air just taking that out. I didn't even realize that Jintek was like that. Behind. We got the read there. Yes, this is 3.1. All right, and and you know, like, say what you want about Zinnor's recovery, he has excellent normals. Like, all of his attacks lead into something. They're all incredibly powerful. Revenge makes him so much better. Like, Zinnor is a legitimate character. Looks like a bit of footsies here. That's all Zinnor does is just do footsies. Like, that's that's this character in a nutshell. Nice grab, okay. And then Scoop Dog uh, oh, Let's take a pause there. Dude, this is. Let's has been... give him a... Let's give him a round of applause. A round of a, a pause? Yep. Oh my go. god. Dude. <laughs> it has been four three O's in a row. For like four different three O sets. So Cal's busted.